Today we got brand new footage for Tears of the Kingdom. It's not a lot, I'll warn about that. It's not like we're about to get several minutes of new gameplay here. But this is official and it was released by Nintendo and we're going to draw some attention to it because there's a few notable things that we need to examine. You guys know that we usually take a pretty close look at all of the footage. We might not release trailer analysis videos. That's because we usually do all of our analysis live after the trailer drops. That being said, I want to remind you that, hey, we are have a giveaway going on right now for a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. We also have a giveaway for a Zelda Collector's Edition and a Tears of the Kingdom pin from PAX East. Uh, you can go ahead and enter that giveaway down in the pinned comment or to the description. It runs until May 12th. Also, hey... We're on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Maybe turn on that bell icon so you get notified of all of our videos. All right, so the Japanese website is awesome. We are actually using the full theme for Tears of the Kingdom, which appeared first on the Japanese website. We now play it during our live streams. And it actually will be played in our intro to the Nindy World Direct we have going on today. Uh, you guys can look forward to that. We'll be live streaming that later. But what I want to actually get into here is this brand new footage around Tears of the Kingdom. Because for me, anything surrounding Tears of the Kingdom is kind of like a drug at this point. I can't get enough of it. And if it's official media, all the better. So why not just jump in and take a look at this brand new footage? Now, it's about 10 seconds or so long, and what you're going to see here first in this initial shot, and it's going to play on repeat for a bit, it is this idea of Link standing on a platform overlooking what looks to be that beginning Sky Island area that we've seen in other gameplay and trailers. Uh, what I find interesting here is just a couple things that we need to note. One is obvious that, you know, some people speculate that Link would maybe start inside uh, that building we see directly in front of him. Maybe that's not where he actually starts. He might start on this platform that we see him standing on. And it, this platform has the green circle going around. So I don't know if that means it's a warp point or or, or, or something. Or maybe it's just where he starts the game. Beats me because this could be an opening scene. I'm not really sure. He doesn't have the Master Sword here. But I don't know. It just looks really, really cool. And is definitely new. You can also notice uh, some water and stuff on some of the Sky Islands as well. Uh, when we get to the next scene, this is where Link is seemingly running and jumping off the platform. Now, I don't know if this is where those two doors open up that we saw in a prior trailer. Uh, but what's interesting is when he jumps, you, you get look down and you see another look at Hyrule below. You see a lot of those gaping red chasm things that we... Some people think we can maybe go down them. I don't know. I see four here, maybe five in the shot. And some of them are where uh, there used to be shrines, but not all of them are actually in the shrine locations. I find that to be pretty interesting. Obviously, there's a lot of water going on as well. But then when it, sh it shifts a bit, actually, before it shifts, I want to point out there seems to be a whirlpool or something happening down here uh, in the bottom left in the water. That's very, very interesting. Uh, that's the first time we've seen something like that in the game. But when the shot pans up, I mean, we just see a ton of Sky Islands. And and I think that, to me, is maybe what's most impressive out of all this new footage is the shot of all of those Sky Islands. I mean, I'm, I, I count, you know, almost a dozen here. And that's without considering any that might be covered up entirely by the cloud coverage. And obviously, the clouds are looking nice. Also, just to provide some evidence on the increased draw distance in this game, if you look at the bottom left, you can see like some formations and or trees or something down in that little brown area. Yeah, there's no way in hell we were seeing that in Breath of the Wild from this distance. So draw distance is definitely a bonus, and that means pop-in will probably be far less noticeable. Um, so, and then there's one last scene here where Link is running in the grass towards, it looks like central Hyrule. Uh, and we, we do see an, another green symbol here on the left on the ground. And we do see a tower way off in the distance. That's probably the tower for the central Hyrule region. Maybe, assuming these towers serve the same purpose. We have no idea if they serve the same purpose as the Sushika Towers. But what's actually kind of cool is, one, we see some low floating islands you can see some ones that aren't very high in the air 
Uh, those are some of the lowest islands we have seen yet. So that's pretty interesting that we do have some that are that low, even below the tower. Because on the right here, the most noticeable thing in this shot to me is that we do have our best look yet at those new towers. This is the closest we have gotten to them. We can see some intricate details. We can see some flags hanging off the top. Again, we still don't know what these towers are for. Are they access to the underground? Are they time travel portals? Are they just something that unlocks portions of the map like the Sheikah Towers did? We don't really know, but uh, there they are. You can all see a couple floating islands off in the back along with Hyrule Castle. So honestly, this footage is really, really nice uh, just to have quick little glimpses and give us little teases. I mentioned you know, a while ago that when they started doing the marketing campaign for Tears of the Kingdom, we were going to get little trickles like this almost every single week. There was going to be something new, uh, whether it was obviously gameplays or the trailers. We now have the final trailer. By the way, there will be one more trailer before launch. It's sort of a misnomer to call that last trailer the final pre-launch trailer because there will be a launch trailer but the launch trailer actually comes out before the game launches, right? It always comes out launch week. So technically, we have one more trailer to look forward to. Uh, but it might not show anything new. It might just be a mishmash of all the old trailers. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we're going to see more of the game, guys. Like, we're not done seeing Tears of the Kingdom. If you think Tears of the Kingdom coverage is over with, guys, there was a media event. Uh, select Media got to go hands-on and already play Tears of the Kingdom. They're going to be dropping previews at some point in the next week or two. In addition, review copies are going out soon, and there'll be official previews from that, plus reviews, and all of that's going to have new gameplay footage as well. So we're going to have a lot to examine and look at going forward, and we're going to have a lot to summarize from these previews and reviews. I, unfortunately, am not somebody who seems to be privy to getting a review copy of the game. It's unfortunate, but also it's okay, because it does mean my first experience with the game will be when I live stream it in front of you guys. But uh, it would have been cool if I could have got early access because I could have worked on some tip videos and other things, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to just focus uh, instead on what our coverage is going to be once the game comes out. I'm just really excited for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm sure you guys are as well because if you weren't, you probably wouldn't be subscribed to the channel. I think at this point, probably 98% of my you know user base and viewer base are fans of Zelda. There's probably a small portion that maybe isn't, but I don't know. That's just me. You guys are amazing and awesome. Hopefully, I catch you guys at our Nindy World live stream here in a few hours. And I'll catch you in the next video.